that is a lot of vines. Hey guys, Profe Pablo here, Spanish teacher turned Minecraft engineer. You might be wondering what's going on behind me. That is a zero tick twisted vine farm, which is converting everything into bone meal. It's going super fast. It works excellent. I used to think only kelp was good for zero tick anymore. Now that sugar cane doesn't work anymore. But nope, twisted vines work great. Let's go check it out. That is a lot of vines. Enough chit chat, let's get going. Okay, let's start with the end in mind. Lay down a double chest. Behind that double chest, we are going to lay down one, two, three, four hoppers all going into that chest. Then we're going to take four composters and place one, two, three, four composters down. And then we are going to put one, oops, one, two, three, four hoppers going into those composters. Then we will do a double chest here and a double chest here. And that is our collection slash bone meal making system. Now let's come back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks or nine hoppers all leading into each other. And we'll do the same thing over here. Now I'm gonna place glass here and here to remind me of something later. Okay, and then you need blocks of some sort right here underneath the hoppers but leaving space for one block do that over here as well and now we need sand on top of that just like that okay now over here i'm going to build up one two blocks and come out this way just like that if you want to go ahead and make that a solid row that's fine we're going to do that on this side as well Just like that. Okay, now we're going to need sticky pistons all facing in. Do that on this side. Boom. Okay, I'm going to run blocks all along the back of those sticky pistons. Do that over here as well. Now we're going to test this out. I actually haven't done this part yet. Uh, I did put a repeater clock, but it was on the back, and I want to put it on the front. So... What we are going to do is this. We're going to make our T shape here. Just like that. Perfect. Break that. Place down a redstone torch. Place down a repeater facing this way. And then place down redstone dust. There's our repeater clock. Then we will need a lever. Turn that just like that. And that's actually not going to work. We're going to have to reverse this. There we go. Making my T clock just like that. There. That goes like that. That goes down there. This faces this way. Lever down. Perfect. And the reason we need it this way is that the redstone dust needs to be on so that these pistons stay extended. So now we can place sand here. Blocks here. Blocks here. Oh, you see, that's why I put the glass there. We actually didn't need this piston right here. So where the glass is, you don't need a piston. We're going to place a wall there. And now pistons facing in like this. That's going to break our vines. And now I'm going to place a back wall so that none of our vines escape, if you know what I mean. Okay, and we can leave this open for maintenance if we want. really doesn't matter. There we go. Okay, now we need to run this redstone along the back so that it reaches the other side. So, to make that happen, we're going to place a repeater here. Run a line of redstone all the way to the back. I guess that ruined our maintenance access. I mean, we could just do this. There we go. We're going to run redstone this way place a repeater here so we make sure it reaches the end then run our redstone I'm gonna place down our sand 
just like that. Blocks here, blocks here, and pistons facing in. Okay, I'm going to give you a quick fly around. Okay, and we're almost done, but not quite yet. So now we need to power these pistons up here. Now there's a couple of ways to do that. One is to build another repeater clock, but I want this running off all the same clock. So what I'm going to do is place down an observer facing this repeater here, place a redstone torch there, place a block here, then we will run redstone dust back here, now we might have to add a repeater to kind of slow the signal down up here. We're going to find out. Go ahead and add our twisting vines. Just like this. And let's practice. Now see, it's going too fast. It's not giving them enough time to grow. So let's adjust our redstone. All right, there we go. Let me show you how I did it. We did a repeater going into a block, put a torch on the side, block on top, torch on side, block on top, torch on side, observer facing that torch and observer facing out. And that delayed the redstone just enough to give us this. Okay, now my other side isn't working and it might be redstone related. We're gonna try and fix that real quick. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna close this in with glass so that none of our vines escape. And then we actually need to put a row up here. I also might be on a chunk border, which could be a problem. Okay, you can't have any sand underneath. Okay, again, I don't need that. There we go. Okay, now I gotta replace my sand. Okay, gotta replace the bottom sand first. There we go. Okay, now my redstone, again, might be delayed too much. I'm going to test it out again. If it breaks, then we'll fix it. Nope, working fine now. Then we just need to run redstone this way. Gosh, let me turn off that noise. Okay, so we just placed an observer facing this observer and then ran redstone back here with a repeater. Now let's see if it works. Oh yeah, look at all those twisted vines. All of that is being converted into bone meal down here. Going pretty quick, this is a live count. I hope you guys enjoyed this build. I hope you have a ton of fun making it and showing it off to your friends. I'm Profe Pablo, and as always, thanks for watching.